Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to L.A. Noir. We're getting ready to resume Arson, the Gas Man. And uh, if you watched the last episode, you would know that this episode is us starting at the Arson desk after our little uh, scandal was figured out, which I still hate. <laughs> it helps so much right now. If you couldn't tell from the last video's descriptions... I'm like, I, I really, I, he makes me annoyed because I got so invested into his character. And now he did that, so I'm like, Oh, Phelps, what's wrong with you? I hate you now. And so I'm just like, I'm, I'm trying to kind of distance myself from him so he doesn't make me hate him more. But it's kind of too late. <laughs> so I kind of hate him already. But I, I'm interested in, like, how the story goes from here. I still am. Even though I hate him so much right now. I am interested in the arson desk. It seemed very interesting. Okay, everyone. Keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Can it. Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Alright. So let's go investigate this house fire. Um, I've heard that this isn't like... This is supposed to be like the least like desk, which is why we were put on it. But I'm still very interested in what's yeah, going to happen. Get out of the way. I'm still very interested in what's going to happen. Because, I mean, fire sounds cool, doesn't it? I used to be indecisive. He just now refuses so sure. to accompany me to church. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. You should talk this. to him about this. He's having this argument up there. So I gave him a dusty. He wouldn't forget. I don't think this man's going to talk to me. He doesn't seem. He didn't seem to enjoy us being partners anyway. Okay, is this an exit? This is an exit. Okay. Which one? Is this our car? Oh, we got a green car. I like green. Green school. I can work with green. All right, so let's go to the Stefan's house fire first. So are we gonna have a nice like friendship chat here or are we not doing anything like that? Friendship chat? Maybe How long have you been working, Arson. We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Oh, I see the fire. Feeling down, hot shot? Need a buddy? Or look somewhere else. A little bit of a cold. So this is how it's going to be, partner. What? I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day, hero. Walking into the station, your chest puffed out like a little kid at his confirmation. You wouldn't have given me the time of day. And now you need somebody, and that somebody's supposed to be me. Well, it's not gonna happen. That's quite a speech. I heard you were the strong silent type. You cranking wise, Phelps? No, Biggs. I'm breaking the ice. Just drive, hot shot. Such a cold reception from a man working arson. I don't know, I found that especially funny. Alright, so how's fire? Oh, I do see one of their fancy fire trucks there. Oh, wow. This wasn't just like a, like, one room of our house is burned down. This is like our house burned to the ground burned down. There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in your face. 
They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Well, it might have still been deliberate, just one. not yeah. them doing Mike it. Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. We come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. All right. I guess we should interview them. Did your house burn down, ma'am? Are you sure? Actually, I guess we're talking to the guy. Mr. Stevens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Okay. Maybe the issuing agent somehow gave people information, because I think, just based upon the intro and the fact that it's never just as simple as a pure accident, that probably someone set up this fire for them, so I'm gonna, you know, go, I'm gonna go out saying that, uh, thinking that it's probably someone knew they were gonna be gone and then set this fire. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My, uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Suburban redevelopment. Do you think... This is just me thinking. Suburban redevelopment, that sounds something like when he was talking about they want to bulldoze all these houses down to build new homes for GIs. Do you think maybe they or they got someone to set fire to this house so that these people would go away and then they could take this land? I'm going to say it's a truth. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. That's what I'm thinking. Let's ask him about the suburban redevelopment, because I don't really know much about it, but my gut instinct tells me that this might have been set up. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. That sounds like a truth as well. Or maybe a doubt? GI houses? Maybe a doubt. Yeah, something like that. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. Alright. Uh, this must be terrible. Um... Let's take a look around. Maybe we can find some evidence related to how this fire got started. This is like a chandelier or... Optimistic, Cole. Looks kind of like some sort of... Like a porch light. A half-burned book. Seems irrelevant. Yeah, I, I, I didn't think so either, but I, I felt like it might be a decent idea to check. Remember the dead lady that is a pot. Wait, wait, what? That's not a pot? What the heck is that? It's like a hat pot. Um, okay. Let's keep looking for clues. That's a toilet. Let's see. Anything down here? Is that a shoe? Seems like a, a shoe that probably doesn't mean anything. Kind of curious how, like, a shoe survived out of all of this stuff. Let me ask my partner over here what he thinks, even though he hates us. I'm stumped. You seen the water? He is? 
only so many places to start with a fire like this. Oh, the water heater. Okay, let's go look at that. Um, can I get off of here? Thank you. The water heater would be kind of on the outside of the house, wouldn't it? Get, get out of the way. Actually, hold on. I want to see your face. You look like somebody. He looks kind of like Roy, he doesn't he? The guy that was pretending to be dead. Look, he looks an awful lot like Roy, doesn't he? <laughs> Roy, you're being demoted to fire department. <laughs> That's not even a police position. Yes, I know. We hate you that much. Uh, okay. He said to check the water heater. Where would that be? Oh, here it is. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. Okay. I guess, sure, let's... I mean, I might, we might as well take a look at it. Okay, uh, we did check out the water heater. Uh, where's our partner? Partner, what do you think? What do you think, partner? So what next? What's that? Alright. Make the call to see if these suburban assholes have an address. Why is there... Oh, that must be from the fire department put, trying to put out the fire, even though it's kind of too late. Um, let's go run by this phone up here really quick. Come on, Phelps, start running. Run, there you go. Yeah, I, oh wait, what happened to this house? Did this house get bulldozed over? Oh, I'm guessing what happened maybe is that... Because they said they're showing their money and then people are moving out. And then they're probably just like bulldozing over the houses one by one. Okay, and that one... That one's in partial bulldozing-ness. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. Detective. I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency is established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. We have an address for them. Why is everyone running? There is one listed here. Corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks. Okay, um, so we'll need to check that out as well. Let's go to location. Um, let's check out the other house fire. Just to see. I mean, it's probably not, but let's just check it just to see if maybe it's somehow connected. Once again, I doubt it, but it could be. You know, you know what is interesting, though, is seeing how... Whoops, wrong side. Is seeing how people react to Phelps after they find out about this thing, this uh, the scandal he had. House fires. This is our <clears throat> You get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? May as well hit the siren. Well, considering that we are arson, it is a. <laughs> it wouldn't be surprising that we do get house fires on our list of stuff. Oh. Oh, I want to help. I'm helpful. I am helpful. Let's go. Let's go help. Okay. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hold on. We just get around this tree, maybe? Is that bush invincible? No, it's not. Excellent. You didn't need that table, right? Your, uh... Your hedge fence, it is very strong. All right. Oh, for God's sakes! Sorry, sorry. Hold on. Oh, there's no outlet. There is no outlet. Darn it! Is there an outlet next door? No, there's not. Oh, fine. Hold on. Let's just go around here. All right. Here we go. We can turn here. This will work. Nope, nope. Get out of the road. Get out of the road. See, I hope you're not really far away, whoever needs help with the shooting thing. Please. Oh, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Whoops. Oh no, oh no. That is a strong head fit. 
hedge fences are very strong. Well, at the very least, this isn't your car, so unlike the other guy, you won't complain at me. Hold on. See, we're right here. Oh, that's not too far. That's just a couple. That's just like down the road forever. So we'll just keep going. Get out of the way! My police car's wounded, I can't take another hit. There's that weird car again. Hold on, I want to see that one. Come back here. Come back here. We need to drive that car, actually. What is that? What are, what are you? You've got, like, spigots on the side. A Keens? What's a Keens? It's like a... The Out of the car! Police! This, dead. <laughs> Don't let him see us driving around in this. Oh, a fuel truck! Oh, this seems like a bad thing for me to be driving, doesn't it? They're fine. Just don't run into my car. This is a fuel truck. It's fine, it's fine. I think people will respect my driving authority if they see I'm driving a fuel truck. Which, why is this fuel truck so small? It can't hold that much fuel. Is this how they used to transport fuel? Like, I know how they do it now. They have, like, very large fuel trucks, but... Did they used to transport it in small ones? I have no idea. I just know if we get into a bad accident, we might explode. Possibly. It does have a nice horn, though. I wish I had a speedometer. I can't be going more than, like, 30 right here. Ooh, that's a cool angle. Look at that, like an under-the-car angle. Nope, stop. thing keeps trying to make me go back to a normal angle, but I want to keep the under-the-car angle. That's cool. Whoa. Now side view. Whoa, look at that. Look at the side view. We're driving sideways. Now the other side view. Wait, wait. Now we're driving while looking at them. Come on, say something cool. Have a neat conversation or something. Okay, a bus stop shooting. Oh, is this the same bus stop as before? Interesting. What's the situation? Some stick-up boys lost their heads and a girl got shot. We have to move fast, sir. There are still people inside. Oh. Okay. So, hostage situation? Is that is that what's going on here? Subdue so the armed robbery suspects. Are you armed robbery guy? Oh no, you must be... Oh, you must be a, like a helper. I mean, a uh, hostage. Get out of the way, hostages. Get out of the way. There are guns to be shot. On the floor. He's on the floor, don't worry. Oh wait, wait. You. Got him. He's running away. No, he's not. Bam, 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 he's dead. Okay, okay, finish loading. Come on. Gonna need a few corner cars out here. We saved the hostages. They don't do hostage situations very well. They like openly present me to kill them very easily. They don't try to like hold their hostages. You gotta be kidding me. We're driving this? Yeah, we are. Come on, let's go. It'll be fun. You know the way. You can drive. I'm gonna have him drive because uh it was a bit of a far drive away. Jeez, it's cold. What's wrong with a good old-fashioned black and white? I like this car. It looks cool. It's different. <laughs> and it's also the second time I've seen this vehicle. I've never seen it like all the other ones. Alright, so we're at the Saw Your House fire. Um, very similar looking. It didn't burn quite as easily, but, I mean, it's still very tragic and everything. Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. 
We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Oh, Peter explosion. that's Another sad. One. Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Now we are saying that's a common occurrence, so maybe it's not anything in particular, but it does seem an awful lot like maybe it was wow. set up. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death. I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater? Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm an arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. Well, at the very least, he, he seems like a reasonable man through all of this. You know, he sees what we did was wrong, which I agree, definitely wrong, but he seems like he's gonna, I guess, help us, help us out. So, he said that... How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? Probably. So I'm, I'm, what he said was the burns were superficial, meaning that, you know, they weren't of that much of, like, they, they didn't cause the deaths. They died from the carbon monoxide poisoning, you know, from the, uh, from, like, the buildup of the fire. And, uh, but it, it does seem kind of like it might have been a setup. Like someone set this up to happen this way, maybe? Uh, is that a fan? I think, yeah, that looks like a fan. Okay. Putting that down. Wasn't an electrical fire, was it? Let's see, oven. The oven obviously didn't start the fire. Uh, let's see. A clock? Oh, maybe this will tell us the time that the house burned down. Of course, Phelps wouldn't even consider it, but this does seem like it could be a possible clue, does it not? It stopped at, like, 5.45, but he did say midnight, so maybe maybe that's... I mean, I think technically that would maybe be a clue you'd want to consider, but for whatever reason, just like when Phelps finds guns and he's like, oh, that obviously could not be it. I, I don't know, it just, it just annoys me when he does that. <laughs> and this seems kind of like that as well. Alright, um, I'm looking for their water heater. It's usually on the side of the house. Looks like this car might have burnt as well. I mean, it does look a lot like it, doesn't it? The fence right here is burnt. And along with the car being burnt. I'm trying to find the water heater. I think it's like a square usually. Wait, what? What? Oh, what is that? Oh, it's just like, like the gas valve. What are you wanting to look at? Oh, hold on. Insteed. Hey, Biggs. Is this significant? Regulator valve. Good find. Detectives. This is the next door neighbor. Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know Now that I'm seems going? convincing. Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. 
else. Guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Oh, okay. Uh, we're chasing him. Hey, you can still catch him. Now that does seem very convincing. If they were supposed to have won a vacation or a trip, but he could they couldn't leave because he was sick and it still burnt down anyway. Stop! LAPD! That seems very oh, convincing. Stop right there! Can I tackle him? It's not letting me do the tackly thing, even though we are oh, tackle, tackle, tackle. Come on. Ah, oh, dang it, he got away. Come on, guy, I need to tackle. A family died in that fire. We need to ask some questions. A family died! No, I don't care! No, come back, good sir. You appear to be able to run over I knew it. It's gonna punch me like everyone else. Shit. Everyone does that, Phelps. This is like the fifth time that's happened to you. They hate you and your guts. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, against the wall. Good work, Phelps. Get your hat back on. You deserve it. Yeah, but it does seem very, What's very odd, doesn't it? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires. Some, watching them, were setting them. I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. Turn them out, punk. You're a naughty boy, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Is that a cigarette? It looks like a cigarette. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Oh, Don't you, oh Herbert. yeah, to set the fire like with a fire, like a timer. Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you uh, finish following uh, your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. It's one Don't of those crazy that. pyromaniac people. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. There are house fires, Cole. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. But the reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me, or stay out of my way. You got it? That's right, Phelps. You tell him who's boss. <laughs> he, he sounds a lot like, um... Like, uh, like our other partner. Oh gosh, why can't I remember his name? The one we had in Homicide. Anyway, um, but he was like, you know, very against it. But I think the reason, the reason the other guy was against it is he's like, you know, people kill their wives all the time. He was against, like, there being one central murderer. The reason I think this guy's against it is he thinks that everyone, like, is always doing it for insurance money. Um, anyway, let's go to the Gulliver Travel Agency because... They're the one that have been supplying these uh, these prizes to these people, and so that would be that's very convincing to like evidence to look at. Whoa. And I think we should have a word with them. Oh. Sure. Wait, wait, how, how far away is it? Let's check that first. We are right here. And it is somewhere else. Where is it? Oh, I zoom out, zoom out. Whoa, that is far away. No, we're having our partner drive that one. Hey, partner, you got some work to do. You can drive. You can drive. You do great work driving. I will go over here in the passenger seat. My 